the physical bottoms is going to be this shaded wedge. I put here a bit for physical bottoms. Rolando. Because we'll visit again with the principles, okay? I'll explain this in the principle. But let me first say mechanistically what you have, and then we'll understand the principles. Okay. I will write the principles one. Thank you. And we draw so the straight line from the same to the fifth. Then you'll let me do that in white. And this wedge here that's the physical distance. Okay, why is that? Two principles. One F D B are in the same straight line.
the rest of your line would go something like that, right? If you take the straight line from bottom to feet, it would intersect the rest of your line somewhere here, which is in the wedge for this line. Can you do a new one? Hmm? There's so many things out there. The triangle is so confusing. They are very simple here, guys. Yeah. All right, let me draw the other yellow. Just pay attention to the yellow line here. I'll change that to yellow. So, the three yellow lines tell the story. Okay? First yellow line is raising you curve through the feet. Second yellow line from the source, the most volatile corners. You draw straight line through the feet. With me? And whatever that is, so what is outside the feet residue curve on the wedge between that region and this straight line you have a bottom region that is physical. And you go now to the sink and draw the straight line through the feet, and you get a second wedge, and this is the distillate physical. In those shaded regions, you can have both residue line that has another way to say propose a bottoms. Okay? If you propose a bottoms, the distillate should be connected with a straight line through the feet and intersected the residue line through the bottom. Another way to see. Okay? Let's say I propose this bottom. Yeah, I'll do it in one. Let's say I propose this point of bottom. I must have two things. This must be a straight line with the feet and the distillate. And the distillate must be in approximately the same resin line. So let's draw the resin line through this point. So this will be outside the residue line of the fish, will be something, let's say, like this. Everybody with me? I'm proposing these bottoms. This is my residue line through this bottom. Distillate must be somewhere else in this straight line. Furthermore, it must be in a straight line with the feet. So, if this is the bottom proposed, here is where I will be looking for the distillate. Right here. So, there is a distillate, you can achieve these bottoms, and this will be the distillate. Better sense? Yeah. Okay. And by the way, this holds whether we do it with mole percent or mass percent. Another thing I want to mention, very important. Lever rule applies. So if I have, let's say I have this separation. Let's say this is my distillate, this is my feet, this is the bottom. What is the amount of distillate? If it's more percent, we're talking about moles. If it's much percent, we're talking about mass. What is? Let's say I have F moles of feet. How many moles will end up as bottoms? How many moles will end up as distance? The bottoms will be the ratio of this distance, right here, the distance between distance and feet. Okay, so bottoms will be the ratio will be feet times the ratio of Df to the total distance dc. Oh, sorry, db. Calling this b. Okay, this is b right here, the distal point, and here is b, the bottom point on top of it. So the total bottoms I'm going to get is going to be the ratio, which could be feet times the ratio. Df over db. Okay, these are distances. Maybe I should put a bar to make clear that this is distance. So, 
So if my distillate point is close to the sea, I'm going to get very little bottom because the F is going to be big. Sorry, because the F is small, I'm going to get very little bottom. It's the liver rule, guys. The liver rule holds in any dimension. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So you draw a straight line from F to the composition and decomposition? Let me do a second one. Let me do one in which it's like the, if you do a train uh, ethylene toilet, uh, ethylene water. So in this case, you would have an isotope maybe here, an isotope here, and an isotope here. And if there are minimum boiling isotropes, the arrows would be going in this direction. So if I'm talking about this wedge, oh, I can do this. Let's say the arrows go in this direction. So if I have a feet here, let me use yellow for this. Okay. If this is my feet. What I draw is first the residue line the curve through the feet, and this would be probably, let's see how I do this. Uh, I have this stuff. Probably, so what have I done? It's possible we have this one. Okay, let's see the other side. Uh -huh. And, like that, so probably the feed would be something like this. Again, you would draw them in Aspen Plus, so you learn how to do. Okay, here is, here is the A point, the most volatile point in this region. Let me backtrack a little bit to make sure everybody is in the same way. When you have azeotropes, you have distillation boundaries. These are regions that cannot be crossed with ordinary distillation. Okay? So then, what I'm talking about happens in a sub-region. When you have no isotopes, it's the entire triangle. Same principle holds if you have isotopes within the sub-region defined by the distillation boundaries, which have binary isotopes. If you have them for few components, and in this case, you have a ternary isotopes. Okay? Okay, actually, uh, the way I have it. Anyway, let's stay with what I have. So you draw the straight line from the most volatile through the field. You draw the straight line from the least volatile, which is here, through the field. So your wedges are here for bottoms. And here for this. Okay? So only bottom compositions in this wedge and this composition in this wedge are possible. Liver. If I'm trying to get a bottoms here, okay? Let's say, let me write in white now. So I'm trying to get a bottoms, let's say, let's make it close to here, here, a bottoms here. If you draw the residue line through these bottoms, it would be something like this. Okay? And your separation must pass through the feet. Okay? So your separation, remember, distillate the bottom feet must be in the same straight line. And I would like to tell you. As I was telling all my students for several years, <coughs> I don't believe that Pisces, that unison, can converge, violating basic material balance. Until last year, a student sent me full documentation of a case where, yes, it had messed up. So once in a while,